Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make the form content a bit more dynamic based on other field values on the form. In episodes 2, 3, and 7 of the series, I added a few fields to the form to help facilitate the safety management process. However, some users are confused which fields to use and when. This is where I'm going to make use of something called a UI policy to show how to hide fields, make them read-only or editable, and optionally mandatory based on the conditions that I specify. In the existing issue form, we have the fields due date, category, and project. Luke, the safety manager, tells me that people are clicking on project when a category is small, and that doesn't make sense since only big safety issues can become projects. He also told me that the due date is really only required when a project is checked. I start by going into Studio, select the safety application, and go to Create Application File, Client Development, UI Policy. First, I tell the UI policy which table to watch. Give it a friendly name, and identify the condition when it should trigger, in this case, when the category is small. That takes care of the trigger. Now to take some action based on it. At the bottom of the form is a list of actions to take when the condition evaluates to true. I'll create a new record and pick the project field. Then indicate that I want to hide it and save. On to the next UI policy. It's going to run on the issue table as before and again with the friendly name. And this time I'll use a condition when the project checkbox is checked and save. This time I'll define the action to set the due date field to be mandatory. And now to test. I'll verify that the first UI policy is working by changing the category back and forth. Everything looks good there. Now I'll check the second UI policy to ensure projects have a mandatory due date and non-projects do not. As you saw, I was able to make those changes in just a few minutes to allow better user experience without any scripting. For more information about UI policies, take a look at the product documentation page listed here. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.